Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm back with another video. And this vlog is mainly going to be about like a short update on my small business. As you guys know, I started my own little business a few months back. I'm printing the t-shirt uh, with different designs and also uh, design different glass cans. It's like really cute, um, like a drinkware with different designs on it. So I just want to show you how this thing's going. Before I continue with today's video, I would like to introduce you to the sponsor for today's vlog. It's the brand Dreamy Tech. Dreamy Tech makes high-end cleaning appliances such as robot vacuums and mops, uh, cordless vacuum sticks, and also wet and dry vacuums. They hold a lot of patents in this area and they thrive to make best out the best products. I love that their products combine beautiful and sleek look. They're super easy to uh, navigate and use and they're also very powerful. For a variety of different products that they have to offer, I chose to have H12 Pro which is very powerful model and I'm very excited to introduce it to you. It arrived very fast and I love that everything was very well packaged up and wrapped up. This is the vacuum itself. I love the slick look and this is the base that it came with. It also came with uh, liquid to clean and accessories. I love how easy it was to set up. I love this modern and sleek design and this accessory storage and everything seemed very well made. On the back of the vacuum there is a menu button that helps you to control the volume turn on and off the commands prompt, voice prompts off, and also set up the language. There are three cleaning modes, very easy to switch uh, between them. The first one is automatic, second is ultra cleaning, and the third one is just suction only. It was super easy to refill the water tank with water and clean the liquid. We spilled some milk over the floor for demonstration, and this vacuum had no problem to handle it. I love how it automatically adjusted the power and the setting to work with this liquid mess and also with this dry mess we spilled cheetos all over the floor as well and this vacuum had no problem handling this mess as well this vacuum has edge to edge cleaning technology and it's also very easy to use and hard to reach areas one of the favorite features of this vacuum for me is the self cleaning you basically press a button and it does the job for you it cleans the mop and then it dries it and i actually touched the mop after it was done it was completely dry all i had to do just remove the dirty water tank empty it and wash it. In case you want to check out Dreamatech vacuums, I'm going to post a link down below and I'm also going to post my discount code down below as well. And now back to the video. So for right now, my kids are in school. Aurora is taking her first nap and I'm able to uh, get this ball rolling and get some things done for today. I actually um, just posted a Valentine's Day collection. It's just a few items that are really cute. I want to show them to you. Okay, so this is my website, as you guys already know, and I posted this really cute Valentine collection banner. And there are just a few different uh, designs. So there's a, a Mickey and Friends glass can, and also we need the Pooh one, Stitch, and also a Toy Story. And this is all three sides of the same glass can, so you're going to get a design that's like fully wrapped around it. So I think this is just really cute. I feel like I want to print out um probably this one and i want to design my cup and take some pictures of it today and i'm also gonna do probably this one and there are also a couple of t-shirts um for valentine's day that i posted for example this one this is the mama's valentine i think it's just the cutest thing ever um and also this one i think yeah. I think it's also very very cute so yeah i'm going to print out a couple of designs for valentine's day and i'm going to put them on a glass cans but i got a few things from 99 cent store i got this it's not the best looking rose um like a bouquet or anything like that but i think it's gonna look cute in the pictures so i'm going to like disassemble that and kind of use them as the blurred out background for valentine's day photos and I also got um, this really cute sign thingy I'm also going to use it for background and I also got this uh, Valentine's Day heart picks I don't know how I'm going to use them yet I'm going to probably sprinkle them around or something like that and the last thing I got is this uh, little heart shapes um, like a plastic heart shapes I'm probably going to sprinkle them around uh, for extra mood and I'm not sure how I'm going to use the sticks I'm still working on it 
So this is what I got, just four things. So I'm just going to grab a couple of new glass cans and I'm going to sublimate on them. I recently moved all of my uh, sublimation stuff and all my printing stuff in the garage because it was Christmas and that spot where I had it in my uh, living room, um, we actually put the Christmas tree in there. So now Christmas tree is gone. Uh, but I still have everything in the garage. It's kind of like nice to have everything all in one spot. So I'm going to go there. It gets, it's going to get a little bit darker, but I hope you don't mind it. So this is basically my new little setup in the garage. I have this um, press for glass cans and tumblers. And I also have this heat press for t-shirts and some apparel. And I also got this little setup for organization stuff. So I printed out these two designs and I'm going to sublimate those today. So super easy to wrap this kind of glass cans. I used to wrap them and like really seal them and all kind of stuff, but I did not notice it being like a, it's giving me a big difference. So now I only use a little bit of tape to secure this um, design. It's ready to go. But what I noticed is giving me a big difference is the increased pressure right here. I increased the pressure so now it's really tight, but it's not tight to the point of breaking the glass can. Now I turn it two times, so it's basically baking it on three different sides. So that's what I'm doing, and that's been working for me. So this can already been there for about a minute. It's gonna have another minute to go, and then I'm going to turn it. I finished with this one, and now this one is going in the press. I usually start with this facing up. I'm going to set the timer for two minutes and then I'm going to turn it two times after this. So this is how the first glass can turn out. I think it looks so, so cute. I cannot wait to take pictures of it. And the second cup is almost ready. It has like a hundred seconds to go. And I'm going to pull it out, let it cool down a little bit and... It will be ready as well, but this one is still hot, so I need to wait. And here is the second one. This one is the Mickey. Designs of both of these are just so cute. I cannot wait to take photos of them and use them. Yeah, the cutest thing for Valentine's Day. My glass cans are cooling down. I'm going to give them about 10 minutes. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to set up these backdrops. As you guys know, I got these backdrops from... Um, uh, from like a replica surfaces and I have this little connectors for them so I'm going to put them together I'm not going to use the table or anything like that I'm just planning to assemble right here and this is going to be the first backdrop and for the second backdrop I'm going to swap this kitchen uh, scene for like a one tone pink or red and take some pictures that way This is the bouquet I have. I don't know how it's going to look. It's supposed to be blurred out. I already kind of... I don't know how this looks in there. But I don't know if I'll be able to fix it in Photoshop. And I already cut off like a couple of the stems just to kind of shove them in there. I edit that paper inside this vase. So hopefully that will help me because so far I was not a fan of how this picture is turned out and I'm using like a portrait mode on my phone to make the background blurred out want to show you so this is how the pictures turn out just straight from my phone I didn't adjust lighting or anything so I think it looks pretty good already I think this one probably is my favorite I got this huge backdrops and like variations of different colors from uh, back in the day when I used to sit down and film like a makeup tutorials and I wanted my backdrops to kind of match the theme of my makeup on that day so so that's when I got them. I got them probably from Hobby Lobby. 
and I still have them so I'm gonna use that for my uh, photo shoot I'm gonna style this one now this is how this picture turned out I think it was a success I like how it's um, I think I like this one the most because it blurred out the rose in front and rose in the back and you can see that these roses are artificial so I'm just gonna play with them and see how they look with different lighting but yeah I think it looks very cute let me guys know what you think so I just left the house it took me about three hours to get um, Kind of everything set up and prepared but with valentine's day uh, fast approaching i needed to get this uh, stuff out the way we had a short staycation with the kids so i was not able to um, do some grocery shopping and also make some meals for myself so i'm going to panera bread i'm going to have lunch and then i need to go to school to pick up the kids i'm probably gonna bring um my mom with me so my mom is coming with me because i have uh, an appointment with special education teacher for cairo right after school so i'm hoping that she's going to pick up the kids and hang out with them so i can talk to his teacher kind of like in the privacy of his office and um hopefully i'll have enough time to discuss few things i will get you updated on all this i don't know if they will be able to accommodate to what i'm hoping for so i'm going to let you know how this meeting goes thank you thank you ma'am you guys have a great day thank you too. so we have about 30 minutes before we need to leave to pick up the kids so i hope that will be enough time to have a quiet lunch so this is what i got for lunch this is the chicken chipotle sandwich it's really good i forgot to show you as soon as i got it so i already took a bite of it and i also got this green goddess salad this is one of my favorite ones and just got it without bacon hurry up neat and go pick up the kids it's few hours later we already dropped kids off at uh at home and we already did some grocery shopping so now we're at target because xavier actually just broke his one of his like sneakers broke so we're trying to find sneakers for him and the selection I mean, I guess the selection is pretty good here, but I can't really reach to see what's up there. So hopefully we'll find something nice for him. This is what my mom found. Uh, this is the option number one. Oh. Which are pretty lightweight. And I like that there's no actual... Um, how do you call it? Nice? I don't know. So this is option number one. And this is option number two. And we need a size one. Oh, this is actually on clearance. So there are 21 bucks instead of 30 bucks. So I think this might be a winner then since they're on clearance. 